baby. I think he was 20, 22 inches when he was born, but I can't. I'd have to look. I can't. I'm I'm running on hardly any sleep. My daughter is having horrible allergies, so she did not sleep last night. And then when she was asleep, the baby was awake and wanted to eat, so just running on no sleep. Uh, the next one I didn't love right away was the Grovia, just because I felt like it was a little bit uh, bulky in the crotch. But at 10 pounds and 7 weeks old, these still fit him really well and they work really well. They worked from the beginning. They just felt a little bit bulkier in the crotch. Like he had to go up a size in pants to wear them. They work. They do not leak for us still. And he started to leak out of a lot of the others without boosters. But these still do not leak for us. So I'm still really liking the Grovia. And the next one is the natural all-in-one sweet pea. I like the natural. I do not like their stay dry version. It just is not as nice and it does not hold as much liquid. He can still use this really well, still fits in it, and it does not leak and it does not need a booster. It fits really well. It wasn't, it didn't fit him at birth. It came up too far over the umbilical cord but by two weeks he lost that and he was able to start using this and he can still fit in it and use it currently. The next one is the Thirsties and I have both the Stay Dry and the Natural and I have Velcro and the Snap. I have to say I did like the Snap better. It just got a better fit on him when he was little littler. Uh, he had super skinny legs. They're just starting to fatten up a little bit. So I just for some reason felt that I got a better fit with the snap. Uh, I like both the Stay Dry and the Natural. I do find that I need boosters for both at this point. So um, I don't really uh, care either way between those two. Uh, the Bum Genius Original. I thought these were fine and these fit decent. He can still squeeze into them at 10 pounds, but it's not a great fit. And they never leaked for us, but what I did do to these was sew a uh, Thirsty's Cotton Booster into them. So I was pretty sure they, unless he was just a crazy, crazy head, heavy wetter at the beginning, that those were going to work for us just fine. Uh, they still fit if he squeezes into them. But overall, I really like these, especially with a booster. I had newborn workhorse fitteds and I didn't love those. Uh, they just didn't fit him well ever and then he got a little bit bigger and then he was able to fit into the size small. I really love these. These still fit really good. I let him wear these around the house without a cover and so he can get um, to be a little bit more breathable. I do that and overall I just, I you know, I like them. They're not my favorite but I like them. Uh, this is the tot spots. He was not able to use this right away either. Um, he had to wait till that two week mark when his umbilical cord uh, fell off. And this is one of the first diapers other than that smart bottoms that he was out wetting. Well, and I'm not sure that really he was out wetting the smart bottoms. It was just that there was gaps in the leg hole. So I think that it just leaked that way. Uh, he out this is one that he out wet first. I was able to put him on, on him at around two weeks and he was already out wetting this one. So I didn't care for this, but I did make it work. I added a booster, that kind of thing. And then the last all in one is the new Bum Genius 2.0. And I really, really liked this diaper. I will do a um, more thorough review for sure on this one and I have had a few problems but it is more like a quality problem I don't I'm not really gonna get into that in this video but I really liked this this is the first cloth diaper that fit him really good right away he still fits into it at 10 pounds um, I never had any leaking trouble um, it comes with a its own booster and one side is stay dry and the other one is the uh, the natural fiber. It is a great improvement to their original. And it just fit him really well. It fit him so well. Uh, once he got here, I ended up ordering a ton more of these. And I just really, really loved them. 
they fit so well and I could you can add another boost you can add another one of those like thin uh, Thirsty's cotton boosters and he could go in these forever if he needed to he could still do that now the uh, two covers that I used that were newborn were the Rumper Roos and the Sweet Pea. Now, this never really fit like with a pre-fold or an insert or anything like that, so I was disappointed, but I was able to use this for the first few weeks around disposables because I have been putting him in disposables at night just because he hasn't fit into um, the one size and I couldn't really use uh, pre-folds and stuff with these. And he's super sensitive to wetness at night. So I just have been doing disposables and I was able to get wear out of these with over disposables. And then these worked really well for us. The Rumperoos, they're starting to have a weird sort of fit on him now at this point. Uh, it's just, it's a really weird fit right now. But he was able to use these from the beginning and the Sweet Pea as well. Um, I really liked these at the beginning. They were great probably for the first six weeks, but they are starting to get a weird fit, but they do still fit on him. And so that's my overview on uh, several of the newborn cloth diapers that we used, and I will be doing here in the coming weeks actual sit down and we'll look at and we'll go through and we'll do a real review of some of these diapers. So I hope you have enjoyed. And if you're new here, please subscribe and thank you for watching.